What's up, Cancer? All right, so look, I'm really excited to do you guys reading. We are going to be focused on the bag. We are going to be focused on not just money, but we're going to be focused on your overall wealth. Now, this is what I got for you, Cancer. A lot of you guys have been chosen to be what? First generational millionaires or first generational business owners or first generational fill in the blank. A lot of you guys have reached the, the level of belief, I want to call it like, or the level of faith that it takes to manifest these things. Now, you may have had people around you to dream. You may have had people around you to succeed. But it seems as though there's only a certain level or a certain vibration that these people got to. But for whatever reason, something about your vibration during this season that is so high that it's going to surpass those who look as though they were going to do it first, okay? Or um, it looks as though you're going to attain certain levels of success in an area where maybe you were unlikely to succeed. I'm also seeing you guys create your own, like, pie. You know how to say make a slice of the pie or give me a slice of the pie? I'm seeing you make your own pie. Now this can be symbolic, like creating your own space in the world, creating your own invention and having something new manifest and brought forth that nobody on this planet. You know how to say eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. Some of y'all getting ready to bring that into this um, physical world. Um, but some of you guys may be like teaming up or partnering. For some of you all, you want to team up and partner with people who are, let's say, rich, successful, famous, okay? And a lot of these things are going to come, like, unexpectedly. Um, you may have a feeling. You may have a vibe. But the way things turn out, I feel like for you, they, things are going to be so much different than you expect. A lot of you guys need to know, even if you're going through a time right now of failure, your failure season is for, it's kind of like your training to get you ready. And in the midst of this, you need to be getting prepared for your winning season. So if you're in a failure season right now, you need to get prepared for your winning season, okay? And if you are in a winning season right now, I'm saying with you that I got the two other signs, you need to stretch your arms out even further because universe, God, spirit wants to rain down on you even more. And for some of you all, your money, your finances, and I didn't get this for no other sign but you. Your money, your finances, your wealth, and everything that you're about to bring down is directly connected to your faith. Your power to believe is about to reward you handsomely. So we are going to take a look. These are going to be um, either three advantages or three blockages that you need to think about as you're moving forward, creating wealth, getting this money, this moolah. And these are vintage wisdom oracle cards that are going to give us um, a little bit of insight to maybe your life purpose or what type of protection you have moving forward as you manifest some of these things. So I'm going to pull three of these and then I'm going to do a spread. All right. So for this first one, we have travel. Okay. So for some of you guys, you're about to do a lot of traveling. Okay. Your steps are ordered at this time. Uh, what does that mean? It means... There's already a divine plan set in place for you. All you got to do is walk into it, okay? You get this phone call, you get this opportunity, walk. This thing comes up and it looks like it's working towards your life future or your life purpose, walk, okay? Walk in those directions, travel. Some of you guys are actually going to be getting on planes, okay? Um, I'm hearing requested. Some of you guys, you're getting to the position. Remember I said prepare for your victory season? Some of you guys, even if you're not going through a losing season, even if you're in a good season, I'm hearing that you're going to be requested, okay? Um, phone calls or emails coming out and it's going to involve you traveling, whether that's you traveling by car. Um, but a lot of you guys, I'm saying, come here, um, wheels up. I'm seeing those wheels go up on the plane. A lot of you guys will be traveling by plane, but you will be requested, okay? Listen, it says your life purpose involves traveling. Some of you all, this may be blueprints. You may be traveling because, remember I told you something about like famous people, you may be doing interviews, all that kind of stuff, you're requested. But some of you guys, I'm seeing architect, I'm seeing blueprints. Some of you guys may be having to go look at different areas because they want you to, to build something for them or something. That's been like very specific, like tool, y'all. Let's see what we have here. Children, okay. So when it comes to your either life purpose or where the money could be for you during this time, some of you all may need to focus on your own children who have talent. You may want to put 
some energy and some effort or some, you know, backing, financing, investing into your children. Um, also, when it comes to generational wealth, you need to think about your children. So if you're too tired to pursue something, you don't want to pursue something, you want to not only think about your children, you want to think about the grandchildren, great-grandchildren, great-grandchildren, as I love to say here in Water Stuff I. But the children are a big asset, okay? Whether it be they got gifts, skills, and talents that you need to invest in, or you may create businesses that you're going to pass down to your children. Also, for some of you guys, you may do something with the youth. You have a youth organization, a nonprofit organization, and your future is all about creating great futures for you. There is money. I'm going to just be real. I know it's a nonprofit organization, blah, blah, but it's still money to be made so that we can create these empires and these rec centers and get these children active and letting them do you know, their gifts and their skills and their talents. Whatever the case may be, children. Your children, their children, the children are the future, baby. Your life purpose involves helping, teaching, and healing children. And as a cancer water sign, you're probably good at that, okay? Let's see what else. Talk to your angels. Virgo got this exact same card in the exact same position. So this is centering around some of you guys may be worried about your future, your finances, your career, and that worrying it's only going to create a blockage, okay? I want your arms outstretched, ready to receive, and I want that faith to override any worries, any frights, any fears, okay? It says, instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance, okay? And that's what I was telling you earlier about your steps are ordered. All you got to do is walk into it. Stay prayed up. Talk to your angels. Talk to your spirit guides. Is this the opportunity I've been looking for? Is this good? Like, is this what I should do? Is this where I should walk? You know what I mean? Let's see. What else you get? What's a blockage or advantage for you? judgment wow um when it comes to how other people perceive you don't worry about other people's judgment i'm getting to tell you cancel out the noise if anyone when it comes to money when it comes to you traveling it comes to finances and i was getting this for every sign and i'm so glad that it came up for you because i was supposed to say this at the beginning don't let anybody judge you into debt you ain't supposed to be talking about money. You ain't supposed to, oh, you self-centered. You money hungry. That's all you do. That's all you talk about. That's all you think about. Money, 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 money. But like I was telling everybody else, you keep your mind on your money and your money on your mind. I had somebody tell me the other day, oh, you focus on the money. That, you just like all them rappers. It's like, okay, well, do the rappers have money or not? Like, this is what we're talking about. For, for me, um, you have to... There's a balance. You can think about love. You can think about relationships and all that great, wonderful stuff. But you have to think about money. You have to stand in the mirror, you know, say your affirmation. You have to visualize yourself on the yacht, on the beach, in Brazil, wherever it is you're trying to go. You have to do these things in order to manifest it. If you can think about lack, if you can think about what you don't have, if you can think about the worst case scenario, then surely you can think about something better than that, right? That's almost like a challenge. Like you can't think of nothing else better than that. Other than what you don't have and what could go wrong. But anyway, your direct financial increase is going to be based on the fact that you don't let other people's judgments stop you. Because there are some people who will literally say, I'm not going to get to the bag because other people think that it's selfish. Meanwhile, you really want to get to the bag. You really want to be a millionaire. You really want to be rich and successful and wealthy. You really do want to be financially free. And it's so weird how people will judge you because you want the money. But cancer, you've been told today, cancel out the noise. And I just heard from the broke people section. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to hurt nobody feelings today. If you sit in the broke people section, it's okay. It's plenty room in the wealth section. Come on this way. But you can't do it judging other people. Judgment as well is when you look at other people who got money, they should have did this and that with their money. They should have gave me this and that. For black people, every time a black person make it, what did they do for the black community? That's that entitled attitude that will block you from being rich. You think that you have control over other people's money because you bought one ticket to the movie and all of a sudden that made them rich. No, it didn't. Entitled. And that entitled attitude will keep you as a crab at the bottom of the barrel. But thank God you are the crab at the top. Okay, but anyway, it says, I understand that everyone has their own unique path and judgment. Also, that's the other thing. A lot of you guys are about to see reward season because of your ability to kind of just accept people for who they are and not do too much judging. When you judge other people, oh, you won't be judged back. 
But when you steer clear and I ain't worried about you and worried about you and worried about you and worried about you, guess what? It makes it a lot easier to deal with it from other people. A lot of you guys have been judged. But that's about to turn into, I want to say, financial increase. Because you made it through. It takes faith to make it through. Okay, I don't know who that was for, but let's go ahead and move on. Growth. I just said you're about to see financial increase. You're growing. This says, I want, expand, I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. You guys are about to expand. Money-wise, growth. You know, it's about to be a growth in your finance. It's about to be a growth in money. Okay, it's about to be a growth in travel. Your knowledge, okay? I think I was telling Virgo. Um, Virgo, one of their biggest things that's about to separate them from the pack is about what they finna learn. The angels finna start whispering down, giving them intuitive downloads, and that's gonna put them way ahead of the game. And a lot of you guys, I feel like you've already caught a lot of those intuitive downloads and already been running. You feel what I'm saying? This is just telling you that that, that track, that territory is about to get a little bit bigger. Hope you got your endurance up. Let's see what else we get. Happiness, all the feels, all the feels, happiness, okay? This is what you're walking towards. I told you your steps are ordered. All you have to do is walk in the divine order, right? And this is where it's leading to. Some of y'all, you just need to know that this is the end result. If you knew that you walked down that path and it would lead you towards happiness or you're already happy and it's leading you towards uh, expansion and greater happiness and even greater rewards, would you go? Would you walk? Of course you would. It says, I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. Okay. Whew, this is feeling good. That just gave me the feels. OMG. That just made me feel so good. Take it, please. OMG. Feel the vibe. Feel the vibe. That just made me so happy right now. Like, OMG. They call that angel hugging. It's a phenomenon. You ever had that, like, a moment of bliss where you're just chilling and all of a sudden you just feel so good for no reason? Like, what is, what is this? Like, ooh, everything is perfect. Something good is about to happen. Okay, they call that, it's a phenomenon called angel hugging, where at that moment it's like an angel giving you a hug. You see what I'm saying? And it lands right on top, top of talk to your angel. So maybe I just got an angel hug right now. But, but something felt really good. But this is your current state of finances. This is going to be something that's growing, going on behind the scenes that you may or may not be aware of. This is going to be your advantage at this time when it comes to money. This is going to be the blockage, okay, when it comes to money. Notice I keep saying that. I keep feeling like for somebody out there, you're scared to say money or moolah or uh, take me to the bag because other people around you will get offended or something when you say that. Um, maybe you just don't need to be around those people. My ears ran, so I know I'm touching on something. Somebody needs to stop being afraid to say money, get to the bag. They say that um, the love of money is the root of all evil, okay? So some of y'all take that too far and be like, oh, if I like money or if I'm doing too much with money or if I say money too much, it's like we got this, oh, money. Somebody's scared of money. I was telling some sign, I said, scared money don't make no money. You got to say it. You got to claim it. You got to affirm it, all right? Let's see what um, the final advice or outcome moving forward is. So the current state, ah, we got... The, um, the Wheel of Fortune. So this is your season. This is your time. So you should be getting excited. It's only a matter of time. We're talking about divine order, divine orchestration, the cosmic dance. We are talking about you being the first generational millionaire. And you're coming to that season a lot sooner than you think. You guys are being prepared for this. Okay, now some of y'all, I'm seeing you young, and it's like over the course of the next 10 years. Now, if you made $200,000 in two years, you would be happy. So I don't want to hear you say that. It's going to take me 10 years to be a millionaire. Well, if you made 200000 for the next few years, wouldn't you be happy? Okay, so that's what this is saying. Um, I'm, again, your steps are ordered. We got things going in time. This is a, a, a like almost a clock, if you will. So things are going in the order of time that is supposed to come into your life. And this is so amazing to me because I'm supposed to be doing this reading about your money and this is what you got to do. Da, da, da. It's kind of like it's already set in stone. You've already been chosen. Now all you got to do is figure out which direction are we walking. So what's brewing, what's going on behind the scenes that you may or may not be aware of? The Ten of Cups. I think uh, Capricorn got this exact same one. And as we're talking about happiness, as we're talking about growth, as we're talking about children, this is the family, home, love, white picket fence with the dog or the cat. 
okay, type energy. And as it pertains to children, some of y'all are expanding and growing in your belly because you're about to give birth to children. Your home is expanding, okay? Some of you guys are getting a new home or you're moving into a home with more bedrooms. Some of you guys could be expanding your home, adding bedrooms, okay? But um, children and with this family card. Some of you guys need to know that if your heart's desire is a family, is children, is the happy home with the emotional fulfillment and the money, guess what we call that with good health and all of that? We call that wealth, right? We got all the emotional support, the good health that we want. We got growth, consciousness, awareness. We're constantly learning. We're constantly moving through life, excelling and expanding and ascending. And then we got the happy children who are going to carry on the legacy. This is what spirit needs you to know. So you can not worry about anything. This is what I got you walking towards. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's literally an angel walking with all these kids playing the flute as they're all walking towards a specific destination. They're going home. Okay? Let's see what it is that is your advantage during this time. Ooh, the queen of swords. Boy, if you don't got your boundaries set. Now, with some of the signs, their direct blockage for money was that they didn't have their boundaries set too good. Every time they get a dollar, somebody come in begging. Well, okay, and now you lose out. You ain't got to help everybody. And, and of all the signs, cancer is the one who will help the most. But boy, if you ain't learn how to set them boundaries. And that's good. That's what's working to your advantage. Also, talking to your angels has helped you to maneuver, helped you to play chess. Okay, the Queen of Swords, very logical. Uh, very calculating even. She watches, she observing, she making choices and decisions based off what's intellectually smart as opposed to what my feelings say. Okay? And this is all leading towards happiness. Some of y'all don't even know what y'all avoided by being a queen of swords, by cutting certain people out, by having your energy protected. You have no idea what you avoided, but I can tell you what you preserved. Your happiness, okay? I can tell you where you're going to have an increase if you ain't feeling it or where you did increase that in your level of happiness, okay? And moving further down the path that you're supposed to be on. Now, let's see what's your blockage, what's your disadvantage at this time. The Knight of Cups. It's a person. Now, this person, of course, it's a love because it's a cup card. This could be a person from your past who's not there, who you're still like either thinking about, or this can be someone who had said something, uh, made a judgment on you, and you haven't let it go. For example, remember how I was giving you an example about, oh, you money hungry, all you, for example, me, uh, I used to have an ex that say, um, you always buy the dollar, you always buy the dollar, okay, and that stuck with me for a long time. So it literally would block me and stop me or make me second guess money making opportunities because I didn't want nobody to think that I was money hungry. Meanwhile, nom, 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 nom. so some of y'all literally have a direct blockage because of a uh, uh, something, a, a message, because this is a night, so it's a message, something that someone said that was a judgment. And it's like, you got to let that go. Remember I was telling you earlier about canceling out the noise? Because anybody who says that is just the noise. They just, you know, maybe they see something in you and they don't want you to succeed or something. Maybe it's your test of adversity to overcome. But this knight said something, delivered a message to you that is being perceived as something you need to remove. It's a blockage, okay? Whatever judgment someone made on you, could be a past lover, friend, family, loved one, whoever, they said something to you, judgmental, and it's affecting you with money, opportunities and all of that kind of stuff okay now also uh what i'm getting you remember how i was saying like every time this was for virgo though so it might be for you too how every time you get something coming in uh, it'll go right back out to somebody else you get a moment of time to yourself somebody else needs you to do something whatever whatever you set those boundaries but you queen status and this is still night energy so maybe you still have people around you to have to grow maybe you don't really have many people around you who are on that level or who think at a certain level in order to manifest that and that might be your only blockage at this time like lack of friends or lack of people who understand that mindset you might have people around you who don't understand that in order to manifest money you got to think about money you got to talk about money you got to be about your bag you feel me? Anyway, final advice or outcome moving forward with you all. Wow. Two of swords. So this to me is talking about number one, 
the people who are around you that uh that make you have like stagnant energy okay remember i was saying something about second guess and then we got this two of swords here um for some of you guys when it comes to your money a lot of you guys are experiencing blockages because number one you second guess yourself some of these second guess type things can come from oppression which means these are things that other people told you they're still in your mental space even if you don't talk to these people or see these people so you gotta go in your mind and explore that and also this is stagnant energy of you not knowing what to do remember i was saying your steps are ordered so paying attention talking to your angels really trying to see okay is this what i'm supposed to do some of you guys have stagnant energy because you're sitting on your gifts your skills and your talents and you the one chosen to make these millions if it's not you walking through the door then nobody walks through the door but if you walk through the door every Everybody walks through the door you feel what I'm saying so a lot of you guys need to know that your faith is enough your talent and all of that is gonna definitely carry you but for some of you guys um, your faith is what needs to you know get some of y'all going cuz we got some stagnant energy here I don't I don't, don't want to see the stagnant energy to me it's directly connected to maybe thoughts that other people say you got to remove these thoughts any judgmental thoughts that anyone has tried to put on you as far as money. You shouldn't be thinking about that. You just have all the rappers. Blah, 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 blah. Don't let stagnant people, don't let poverty conscious people tell you about no dollar. I mean, that don't even sound right. You always bought a dollar. I'm not about a dollar. I'm about these million dollars I'm going to make. You know? So now I gotta get rid of that. But anyway, I'm gonna pull these. You're the only sign that I pull these cards for. These are minty oracle decks during these money readings. Because I'm really curious to talk about this Two of Swords. Why is this Two of Swords here? I benefit with gratitude. Oh, so stop giving out your energy. Whatever benefits people get from you, whether again, whether it's you giving out money or you know, you um are always the one to give out your time, your energy, your effort, whatever you consider money or currency, whatever the benefits are of you, that's what needs to stop during this season. Okay, right now you're in the season to receive, you're in the season to exercise your gifts, your skills, your talents, and manifest this way. If people are around you who are not moving, who are not producing, you might want to put them on pause for a minute. And also, um, your biggest weapon right now is going to be the word thank you. I don't know who that's for, but every time you say thank you, it's like a new flower grows in the garden. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. Thank you. Any little thing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Every time you say thank you, a new flower grows in the garden. How big do you want your garden to be? So I'm going to pull the Vintage Wisdom Oracle card to wrap it up. We're talking about the money. Yep, I said the money. Okay, money, 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 money. Yes, all right. So let's see. Playfulness. Ooh, have fun. Go have some fun. Go celebrate. If you knew today, I don't care, you could be broke living on the floor with roaches. If you knew today that you was going to be the first millionaire in your family, would you sit there and have a conversation with the roaches or would you get up and go play and go do something fun? Okay. Like go do something fun. <laughs> I, this is coming out now. Now y'all getting a hand clap. You did something amazing and you deserve amazing things. And this is what's coming in for you. Okay. You've been chosen as the first. Look at that. The children, the generational wealth, it's all going to be passed down. You leave a legacy. And all you got to do right now, is stretch forth your hand, say thank you and smile. Why? Because you're on the path to happiness. If you're not already in true happiness. Okay. So cancer, that is what I give for you guys. Thank you all so much for all of your likes, your subscribes, your shares, your donations. I appreciate you all so much. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, I would love to have you as one. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And you guys can also follow me on Instagram at Waterstar Vibes. Okay. So cancer, thank you guys so much once again, and I'll see you all in your next video.